look at that thing dig deep down there, boy. Holy crap. <laughs> Get him, Scott. Come on, boy. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel right here. We are back out on the water, man. My boo is back. We got Josh right here at the helm. We've got Scott. That's his next door neighbor. We're going to go out to the wall and we're going to do a little bit of fishing today. Our primary target is going to be sheep's head or trigger. They've been catching them left and right out here. Obviously, we're going to get the uh, tog on the end of the line potentially. And if that doesn't work, we do have something out on the side right here that we may go to if we have to do that. But we got all kinds of baits here. We got crabs, we got sand fleas, we got bunker. Something's going to be biting on the end of the line. So give us a couple minutes. We're going to go ahead and drive out to the wall and drop lines and see what happens. You can see the uh, walls out in the distance right here. We got the Harbor Refuge Lighthouse right here sounding off. If you look out there, you probably won't be able to see them, but there's a pelican that's floating out here. But multiple pelicans are dropping in here and getting bait or whatever they're getting out of the water right here. So we're trolling uh, with a spinning combination right here. There's actually a spoon that's out there. And we're going to try to see if there's anything out here that's chasing after what we think probably is peanut bunker or whatever's floating around. They're jumping all over the place. Uh, so we're going to try to see if we can get a quick strike right here, and then we'll get into what we're doing. Uh, if we do not get anything off of here, it's kind of slow. We might slide over to the shoreline over here, right along the corner right here. Uh, potential redfish might be right along those shallows right there. So that's way off in the distance if we happen to do that in this episode. So bear with us. Let's do this and see what happens. We've got Josh preparing uh, some rigs right here. Uh, the trolling rig is getting ready to go ahead and set back out along with the one that's off to my left-hand side. High tide is at 1045. Very, very little wind. Man, the sun's already baking us already. But uh, hopefully another small breeze will come along and help us out here. But I can see all kinds of bait fish just jumping out here. I'm hoping we get something off these spoons. It'd be pretty cool. Got both our rigs situated right here. We're gonna do a slow troll for a little bit and see what happens. So Josh and Scott and I have been noticing right here, these rocks, if you look below, or normally they're natural color, but you can see a wall of a guano that's going on right up the whole way and all the way down here. But up until last year, I did not know that we had pelican this far up north here in Delaware. I always thought it was a Florida bird, but we've got hundreds, if not hundreds, of pelicans roosting on top of this wall right now. It's absolutely amazing to see. Uh, I've never seen anything like this in my whole life, so it's a pretty cool sight. But uh, hopefully that might be a good sign for us. We never know, guys. Nothing on the troll. Josh is going to uh, motor the boat over here. We're going to try to go towards the shoreline and uh, fish over there. We're going to do something a little bit different than the wall. We will probably go there at some point in time, but we're just kind of mixing things up and trying to be a little bit different on this episode. If you ever want to know what the Cape May Lewis Ferry looks like, we're up and close and personal with it. If you look right out here on the uh, bow, you can see dolphin all over the place right here. They're right in front of the boat. Boom, look at them jump right in front of the ferry. That was awesome. Check this out, this is insane. You guys can see the shoreline. It's right in front of you, right here. We're actually right on the point. If you look at Delaware from above, this is where this is at right now, that point that juts out. This is 60 feet almost of water right here, and there's the shoreline. How crazy is that? Look right out here. Look at all these dolphins. They're literally 100 yards out, man, a whole pot of them. A baby. How crazy is that? There's a little one there too, uh, Josh says. There's a reason why we're moving right here, so Josh is going to give a brief explanation as to why we're moving. Well, fishing in this spot kind of sucks. Uh, we believe the main reasons are because we're surrounded by porpoise and, well, porpoise eat fish. And then secondarily, we're at slack tide. The water's not moving at all. So off to the wall we go. If anybody is a fan of the pink snowballs, let me know. Drop a comment below. Our huge fan right here is at the uh, back corner of the boat there. <laughs> we are fishless. There's a lot of ingenuity that's going on right here. This guy is an absolute one saint for putting up with me and the nonsense that's going on on the boat. But uh, we lost our uh, toggle into the rocks right there. Now we're into the water right here with a big old weight that's in then down in the cracks where we got a break off line on there so hopefully that holds josh is on <laughs> we got a tog on took us many many hours it's a nice looking one but it's a, not a keeper obviously yeah it's short but let's get up here finally, a finally the boat. <laughs> yeah right 
There you go. 14 inch tow tog. They gotta be 16 to keep. Hooked, hooked good too. Right. Yeah. But the uh, skunk is off right there. We've been uh, working really hard here to try to get fish on the end of the line. That little bit of ingenuity that Josh used for that anchor line down below is uh, worked out for right now. Yeah. That might become our new strategy anytime. <laughs> for real. Thing. Rather than trying to throw into the stupid wall. <laughs> you need pliers, bud? Yes, please. Oh, watch right. <laughs> yeah, I got it. No, you're good, buddy. Ah, he almost stuck me. All right, I got her in hand. It fell in a little well, but uh, off she goes. Let's hope the action starts to uh, pick up here. The tide had changed about, about an hour ago, maybe. Yeah. So uh, I'm doing a little bit different thing up here. So I'm doing a double drop with uh, fish bites because we're just sitting there just screwing around, see what works. But I'm actually getting bites off of this. All right, Josh is getting into the action right here. You got a tog on. Quite a bit smaller. Go on. Another one. That's got to be an oyster tog. <laughs> Fish action is starting to pick up now, finally. Uh, end of the junk fish right now. That's never a good sign. Oh, man, he had it. Might chop up some bunker and, like, come it out here. I hope to. You still hunger? There you go, on. I don't know, it was banging like crazy. <laughs> A little burgall. A little burgall. <laughs> Cut in the eye. Nice. Uh, it's actually on his back. <laughs> I'm not skunk, but we got a little burgall on the end of the line. <laughs> Come on, Scott. Those little fish, they max out about two pounds. <laughs> Do they? Size restriction on them. But it's pretty cool looking fish. I mean, look how he's got his mouth wide open there for us. But look at that fish on the way. Out in the blue abyss out here, we have a big old piece of bunker. Uh, head out there for some big old fish that might be lingering out there in the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, hopefully, with patience, we can get something slamming on the end of the line. I gave up my spot to Scott up front right there. Uh, Two-fold it's going on right now. One, uh, he was sitting over the quarry, he wasn't getting any bites at all, so I uh, let him sit over where I'm at, because that's where Josh and I were catching fish. And then there's a, that big rod I just told you about a second ago. Uh, he wants to uh, get that big fish if we have to land into a shark there on that uh, bunker. Believe it or not, we've got something on that heavy-duty rod there. Something picked up on that bunker, and Scott's on it right now. So we're gonna get up front right here and uh, watch the fight. All right, what do we got going on here? All right, go ahead and let, let him be out there. Let him be out there. Let him be out there. We had to shift the anchor around a little bit right here. So uh, we got on a float right there. We're free uh, with the boat here to move around with this fish, but uh, you can see the bend right here, guys. It's something pretty decent. I just wanna get us away from the wall. All right. All right, we got our find boatsmen over here trying to guide the boat around to try to fight this fish the most effective way we can. The line is right in front of us right here. So he's not too far. Oh man, did you see that dip in that rod? Wow. Let me know when you get down to about 15 feet. So 70 right now, so. Okay, so he's still out there waiting. Oh, he's pulling. <laughs> wow. Said you wanted it. I do! <laughs> yeah. Scott's huffing and puffing, man. Line straight down, but we're in how many feet of water? We are in 42 feet of water. So that fish is deep down there. He's on the bottom. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> there goes all my progress, right back in the seven. <laughs> right, you probably need to drag a little bit, unless you don't want to. Um, you don't want to snap, 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 snap off. Yeah, I don't want to break the line. Tighter, the drag is the harder it'll be the hole. Look at that rod tip go down, guys. Roll forward, roll the star forward. It'll click. Take really your time, take your time. Don't fight them too hard like that. Man, oh man. <laughs> How you making out, bud? You all right? All right. Where are you at feet-wise, buddy? 52. 
<laughs> Come on, what's taking you so long? <laughs> My arms jello. <laughs> That's got to be a huge ray, dude. <laughs> That's a lot more fight than the one we were fighting yesterday. No joke. He's been, look at that thing, guys. Holy crap. Fight You're straight down, years. bud. You're straight down. Okay, we're down to 40 feet. He's just straight down. He's not on the bottom anymore. I know. And he's not really liking it. Get <laughs> his back down, though. How'd you break him free from the bottom? Nope, nope, nope. He's nope no, wow, he's, he's stripping him. He's pulling hard. How many? How, what's I'm he? Back up to 50. <laughs> <laughs> you you said you wanted it, man. I got her. <laughs> Close. Looks like he's off the bottom because he's gaining he's on him. He's getting a little tired, more tired. Yeah, don't speak too fast, buddy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Something usually happens when they come up near the surface. We get a second wind. Good, you'll see him. Okay, we're up to 20. All right, we're getting close. We're getting close. Drop a comment below. What do you think it is, a ray or a shark, guys? Yep. He's right there, 20 feet down. There's a giant. 14 feet. Should be getting color soon, folks. There, I see it. It's a uh, barely can see it. An enormous yeah. flounder. <laughs> <laughs> That's the 10 pounder they were looking for. <laughs> oh, there he is. Whoa! Yeah. It's a big. Wow! <laughs> That's a giant ray, guys. He just stripped all of his line. I mean, I'm talking about huge, guys. Not even a joke. Wait till you see this thing. Hopefully you saw a little bit of it there. We're back up to 50 some feet. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was an insanely big ray. Wait till you see the size of this ray that's getting ready to come up right here. That is ridiculous. Normally we don't like catching little rays, but when we get a giant like that, you know we're gonna show it off. It's still technically a fish, right, Josh? Yeah. There you go. Razor, uh, shark. Man. How much you got there, buddy? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Josh is I was on the standby, waiting. He got a gaff and some pliers, and uh, Scott says he wants to pull it into the finish. We learned our lesson the last time, or actually Josh did, uh, when we were out here the last time. We caught something that big don't right run. there. Uh, yeah. We had the anchor out into the water and it got caught in the anchor so like i said we're out free floating right now so he can move out wherever he wants to move with this uh giant ray that's on the end of the line the beauty of the ball yep yeah. but if you look way out there you can see the orange ball that's out there that's his anchor line out there with another float so we'll go back and catch that once we get that <laughs> he's down on the bottom whoa you can drag a little more if you want yeah, he's just don't go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Should be getting color real quick here. He's right in front of us. There it is, there it is. Look at that giant ray, guys. Whole Whoa man, that is a big one. Look at that giant ray. He's got him backwards. Wow. He's trying to make a move. He's out there now. I think he's got the line wrapped around the back of his tail when he brought him up the top a couple of seconds ago. It's probably half the reason why I had a little bit of drag underneath the water. This guy's putting all this muscle into this thing. Look at the size of this. I've never seen anything that big before. Wow. Almost there. When he touches it, it counts, buddy. <laughs> what a big, big ray. There you go. Look at that. Ridiculously big ray. So watch that tail, buddy. We had to get, take a couple pictures real quick, but uh, look at that big old ray, guys. Holy crap. Josh is going to go ahead and release him. And she's gone. She's <laughs> gone. Great job. Gaff in there and doing whatever. Scott. Look at this guy, man. <laughs> Water break. <laughs> Great job, buddy. Well, that's a first for 302 fishing. That's absolutely the biggest thing we've ever brought up next to the boat right there. That was almost a 100 pound 
Stingray caught by the man of the hour right here. He's still texting about it. He's still Facebook posting. <laughs> but that's Scott. Uh, I let him get up on the front of the boat because he wasn't getting any fish on the back and not even five minutes of being up front. Uh, he had a couple little bites and then the line went off on that giant rod and uh, it was off to the races. So it took him 25 minutes to get that big old Stingray right up next to the boat. So thank you, Josh, for stepping in there with the gaff and pliers to help him out. And of course, I did a little overhead action there as much as I could. But uh, wow, true, true, true giant, man. That was absolutely insane, Scott. What do you think? Uh, my arms feel like jello. <laughs> he was struggling, guys. But um, thankfully, Josh uh, used the muscle and lifted him up so we can get a couple pictures. But if you guys like that episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. Uh, follow us on Instagram at 302Fishing. Drop a comment below. Let us know what you think about that big old stingray that we call it today. And don't forget, always on the right-hand side, we've got episodes there. You can just delve into the playlist to your heart's content. Hopefully you guys are having a great day and hope to get to see you next weekend.